Hello everybody. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. You know what I'm going to say. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is from Great Divide Brewing. This is their 16th anniversary wood-aged double IPA. Uh, we're probably a little late on this one. I've had this one for a little while, so uh, uh, it may have lost a little bit of the hoppiness on this. But it's a double IPA at 10%, so it'll keep. You just may, may not have the hop presence that it once had. So. Uh, this comes from Great Divide out of Colorado. It's an American Double Imperial IPA coming in at 10%. It was brewed once. Uh, food pairings, cuisines, barbecue, cheeses, a peppery, a Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue, cheddar, a few more pungent cheeses, uh, even a burger. Uh, the meat is game, grilled meat, and salmon. So, uh, pretty strong meat there to go with it. The, uh, the beer can be cellar, but like I said, you're going to lose some hoppiness over, over time. And this is their 16th anniversary. It's on the second. It's, it's either 09 or, or, or 2010 version. So, get the cap off of it and get a little bit of it in the glass and see what we got. Let's see what we got. It's pretty amber. It's almost got a just a little bit of a red tinge to it. Bubble streaming up in the glass. This is a big bottle. This is a, the bomber, the 22 ounce. Uh, it's got a big alcohol presence. I mean, you get the you get the alcohol right off of the 10 percent. You get a little bit of malt. Well, I'm saying a little bit. You get a lot of malt. You get a whole lot of malt on this. Pretty strong on the booziness on this. Once you get around the 10%, it's, uh, it's a pretty strong beer. So uh, maybe a little bit of a, a little bit of a vanilla in that would be in the wood age. Smells very sweet. So here, guys, let's see what we got here. Strong beer. You have to get the vanilla off the wood on the back there. Tastes pretty good, really. Starts off strong. A little bit of bitterness there, but the back end is really pleasant. It's got the it's got the vanilla from the wood and got the hot presence that balances it out. Not bad at all, really. I'm liking this. It's starting to grow on me. I like the taste of that. Seems a little alcohol strong right off the bat. And it may end up being once it warms up because it's right out of the fridge about 40 degrees. Uh, almost, if it wasn't for the, the color, almost looks like a wine. It's got a good taste to it for a 10% beer. Yeah, this might, this might be an above average beer. We're going to let it warm up and uh, I'll be right back. We're going to do the final chug, but we might have a winner here. Stick around, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. I've just a little bit left in the glass. This warmed up very nicely. You get the nice vanilla notes in this once it's warmed up. It's, uh, it's right pleasant. I've enjoyed this thoroughly. Uh, it's an above average beer. Final chug, guys. It's excellent. It's uh, 
It's a, it's definitely above average beer. I'm gonna give it a B plus. It's a seven on the scale tonight. Uh, Red beer has this 98 of it all, so somebody likes it there in the overall scale, but it only got an 87 in the style. Beer Advocate has a B plus, and that's what I'm gonna give it. It's a, it's a pretty tasty beer. I was pretty skeptical at first, but uh, as it warmed up, it. Uh, it, it, it became pretty good. So, uh, guys, if you've had this beer, let me know. I, I doubt if you can pick it up now. It's, uh, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure I've had this beer at least six months. So, uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's off the shelf by now. But uh, if not, you know, pick it up. Give me some comments back on this, guys, if you've had it. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Come on back.